Hi there, I'm digital artist Aaron Rutten. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the new Wacom Intuos. Uh, first thing I want to explain is that Wacom's done a little bit of rebranding here, and I think it's very helpful to point out the bamboo pen tablets are now the Intuos. So I have this older model bamboo here that I've been using uh, before I got the Intuos. And as of now, these bamboos are now the Intuos and the Intuos 5 has become the Intuos Pro. Now why this is helpful is because if you were to do a search uh, to try to buy a tablet or to try to find some information on a tablet and you search for Intuos, uh, originally you would be getting uh, the original Intuos model and some of the older models because there's an Intuos 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and so on. So by rebranding the bamboo is Intuos. If you were to do a search now for Intuos, you're going to get the newest model, and I think that's really helpful to people because I don't think anyone's really going to want to buy an Intuos or an Intuos 2 as far as the older models, the original Intuos. Uh, but this new one is really nice. Uh, we can compare it a little bit visually to the bamboo. They're still about the same size. Uh, the new Intuos uh, Creative Pen and Touch has touchpad features, which I think are really nice. It works similar to how my trackpad works here on my laptop. There are also some express keys here that you can use to uh, perform different functions or click. Uh, the pen is very nice and light. It looks good. It's got an eraser on the end. The bamboo doesn't have touchpad features, no eraser. The pen's way about the same. The tablet's way about the same. Uh, the dimensions are pretty similar. This is a little flatter and this is a little more uh, nicely shaped, so kind of like this a little bit better. They both have the little holders here for your pens. Uh, this Creative Pen and Touch tablet is the small version. There's also uh, versions that are a little bit bigger. And then there are the Intuos Pro, which is the professional version of this, which is also uh, can be bigger and comes with some more functions. I'll be reviewing that in a different video. Uh, you have this little uh, customizable kit here if you wanted to make your pen look a little different by making it black instead of blue. And you have the little package that comes with your driver CD and some instructions and of course the box. So I went ahead and installed the drivers ahead of time so that this would work. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the disc, the CD that comes in here, you're going to want to put it in your computer first before plugging in your tablet and follow the instructions. They're really easy to follow. It's going to install a driver and the driver is something that gets stored on your computer and helps your computer uh, work with this hardware here to be able to function on your computer. So you can see I've got it all set up here. I'm on uh, Wacom's website right now. It's really easy to order these. You just go to Wacom.com and you'll, I'm sure you'll see something there for the Intuos. And we can take a look at the page here. Now compared to the old version uh, of this tablet which is the bamboo uh, it has twice the pressure sensitivity and it's much better and the price is pretty much the same even if you were to buy uh, an older model bamboo it's still relatively about the same price as getting a newer one so this is actually a really good deal. Uh, this creative pen and touch tablet this model is kind of geared more towards hobbyists and people who kind of want to just get into digital art, people who haven't been doing it for a long time. I recommend that if you're a professional and you do this a lot, you're probably going to want the Intuos Pro because it has more features and is a little bit bigger. Um, but this is a, a pretty neat tablet. This one is USB, so it's plugging in here to my USB port, but you can also get a wireless adapter for it, and that's optional. Uh, the Intuos Pro come with a uh, wireless adapter included, so that's kind of nice. This is a really easy tablet to get started with. You might not be able to really tell uh, in this video because it's kind of blended in, but there's these four little dots that represent the active area of the tablet. The active area of this tablet is about four by six, so it's about the same as the bamboo. Bamboo is more clearly defined with this line here. But you can see it's a pretty good surface area to draw on. Now, this is going to fit really well in a laptop bag. I mean, you could almost, you know, put this in a jacket pocket if you had a big jacket. So you can really take this with you 
with your laptop just about anywhere. And the reason why I got this bamboo originally is because I have another tablet which is 9 by 12 it's huge, and I couldn't at all bring it with me, so I wanted something that was smaller. Now, I prefer to do most of my painting on a bigger tablet, um, but if I'm out somewhere, you know, at a pub or at the library or teaching an art lesson with somebody, this is really nice to have something small. So this is a really good tablet for beginners, for hobbyists, for people who haven't really tried digital painting and just want something that's affordable uh, to get them started. Uh, we'll take a look real quick at the last part of this review, which will be how it works with Corel Painter. So I have this custom scratch board tool here and I'm just getting used to using this trackpad. I know I keep going back to the one here because uh, this is kind of a new feature so I haven't but quite wrapped my mind around using it all the time. I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut here to resize my pen, holding Control and Alt. Now I've got a nice pen size that we can see, and I can draw some test lines. So you can see that the pressure sensitivity works really well. This has twice the resolution of the bamboo, as I mentioned before. So what that means is that as I'm drawing these lines, I'm going to get much smoother results when I transition from thick to thin because there's more levels of uh, pressure sensitivity. Let me demonstrate that with a really big brush here. So I'm pushing down at my maximum and then I'm tapering off. So I get a lot of different levels here in pressure sensitivity. And I think that works pretty well. Try a couple other brushes here. There's a sponge, and we can blend it a little bit. Really good response time for this pen. There's no lag here. Report rate's another important thing, so you want your uh, tablet and pen to communicate quickly with your computer without there being any lag. And the LPI is also very high on this tablet. Uh, that's kind of a technical specification, but LPI is lines per inch, and that's the resolution or the amount of sensors that are in your tablet here. So you'll be able to draw more accurate images here quite easily, especially if you're doing really fine, detailed things and you need to get in really tight and draw really close little tight lines, uh, having a higher LPI resolution just does a better job of uh, letting you draw more accurately. So I think that concludes my review of all of the features and uh, benefits of this tablet. Again, I do highly recommend this tablet. Uh, I'm going to have a link available on my website and on this YouTube video to show you where you can pick up this tablet. Uh, the best way to do it would be just to go to Wacom's website, but I have some links on my website too if that's easier for you. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment on this video and I'll get back to you. If you found this information useful, take a quick second to like this video or share it on YouTube or on Facebook, and that'll make it easier for other artists out there to find this information. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next video.